Now, you probably can't get these in book bookstores anymore. Unless you, like, like go, go to, like, the online, maybe. Like, Amazon. Or, I, maybe somebody still has these. But I always hear about how people call the United States a democracy. Like, the media and everything. Uh, we're a republic. But a really good book that somebody might be interested in, say... Razor Fist. Nineteen sixty one, I believe. Right. Uh, yeah. Like let's look at when this, let's look when this was published. Nineteen sixty one by Encyclopedia Britannica. Copyright under International Copyright Union. All rights reserved under the Pan American and Universal Copyright Conventions by Encyclopedia Britannica Inc. printed in the USA. The following works in this volume are reprinted under the arrangements listed below. Experience and Education by John Dewey reprinted by permission of Kappa Delta Pi, owners of the copyright. Relativity, the Special and General Theories by Albert Einstein. Copyright 1920 by Henry Holt and Company. And, and copyright 1948 by Peter Smith. Reprinted by permission of Peter Smith. The School of Wishes of... Uh, the School for Wives <laughs> by Moliere. And then... And that was... That was Copyrighted in 1957 by Random House. Uh, three essays, Does History Repeat Itself? And that copyright was 1948 by Oxford University Press. Reprinted by permission. Now, pe people need to realize the media has a tendency to exaggerate and lie to so when they claim that, oh, well, Trump is a, th the MAGA Republicans are a threat to democracy, what they're really saying is that the, Ma the America First movement is a threat to their power base, which is institutionalized power. It's bureaucratic, it's, well, bogged down with a bunch of crap from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s that we never ironed out and we were never able to get rid of. It's why countries like Nazi Germany came into existence and why the United States is now currently going down that same path. You know, the media will say, oh, well, the, the Republicans, well, they, they had a chance for a border bill, but, you know, but uh, they, they want to squabble and this and that. But let me ask you this. How much in that border bill that McConnell was trying to get passed, how much of it was going to other countries that hate our guts, that are they have a vested interest in the downfall of the United States of America? I mean, seriously, ask yourself that. I'm, f I'm a 41-year-old guy who watches a lot of varied media. Yes, that includes My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and Star Trek, and Stargate, and Star Wars, and tons of other games and references. And I'm sitting here with books like this because I actually have an interest in reading stuff like this. Instead of listening constantly to the mainstream media lie and lie and lie, unlike half the population in the United States, it seems, I can at least educate myself with stuff like this and know what we are actually dealing with and maybe how to counter it someday. Because there really is... Knowledge and power. 
this was these book series I have all four I have four I have four of them the editors in chief are Robert N Hutchins president the for the fund of the Republic and editor-in-chief of great books of the Western world and Mortimer J Alder director of the Institute for Sil philosophical research and associate editor of great books of the Western world. And the contributors for this book series are William, are William O. Douglas, Peregrine, oh, wait, Worst, <laughs> imagine having this as a na last name, Worst Thorn, Mark Van Doren, Walter Sullivan, Edward A. Schills, Gilbert Kant, George P. Grant, and also pertinent works by John Dewey, Albert Einstein, Arnold J. Toynbee, and Moliere, who's French. And these men could see the dangers of democracy as the media keeps calling the rest of the world. I mean, seriously, look this book up. The Great Ideas Today, 1961, 1963, oh, of course, 1962 and 1964, so. Look this book series up. If See if you can find a copy that's not, that hasn't been heavily edited. Because reading stuff like this will make you realize just how fucked the world is now. And that we do have a chance to restore it. But that chance is getting slimmer as long as the mainstream media has a grip on people's minds. As well as people like George Soros and Klaus Schwab and their sons and their families. George Soros literally stated in an interview with Mike Wallace or another 60 Minutes host that he sought the destruction of America because of what we did to Nazi Germany. Because we helped end Adolf Hitler's reign. Now, did some of them survive? Yes. And we're still fighting those people and their ideologies today. And they have, and they do. They have control of the media. You can, you can take that how you want. The best way to control the population is to control the, what they see, hear, and read. That was written and signed by Joseph Goebbels, the Minister of Information and Propaganda, at least one of them, for, for the Nazi Party. And our government thought it was a great idea to bring those people over to work on our space program through, some, through a little thing called Operation Paperclip. I know about that. Others on tw Twitter slash X know about that. More people need to know about that. Hell, I guarantee... I guarantee Razor Fist knows more about more about it. I share I, I linked one of his videos on my YouTube channel. Now I would love for people to go watch that video and realize the so the Nazis weren't were not white just white nationalists. They were socialists. That's the entire point of their party. The national Socialist German Workers' Party.